Alright guys, I know this is late, but I'm going to be doing... Oh, let me put the movie on pause real quick. Um, my March wrap up, I know I'm a little late. Um, tomorrow I will be filming my April wrap up because some of the books I have um, are currently going to be sold and or given away. So I need to do them now. So, why don't we get into it? For March, I read one, two, three, sixteen books, and six were physical, and the rest were just audiobooks. So, why don't we just get into it? The first book. It was Heidi by Johanna Sphere. I gave this a 4.75 stars. It's just a childhood classic of mine that I love. Um, it follows a girl obviously named Heidi um, and her she was living with like an aunt or a cousin for the most of her life and she, um, she ended up getting the aunt, or cousin ended up getting a job in Frankfurt, and she ends up taking the, taking Heidi, um, up to the Swiss Alps to live with her grandfather, um, and everybody just gives her, um, cousin, I think it is, um, like horror stories of her grandfather um so she ends up living with her grandfather for a couple of years and then her cousin comes back and takes her to the city of frankfurt um to, to be a companion of somebody who she cleans the house for um who happens to be wheelchair bound and yeah it was just not a full five, um, because I did read this before, and it's been a while since I did read it. So, that's just why I got knocked down 0.25 <laughs> of a star. Um, next is The Girl in the Blue Coat by Monica Hesse. Um, this is one of the books I'm getting rid of, and it just follows a girl named... Hennick, Henneke or something like that, um, and this is set in World War II, 1943, of Amsterdam, um, and she finds and sells hard-to-find items and stuff like that on the black market price, um, and one day one of her regulars asks her to find a, um, Jewish teenager, and she does everything in her power to find this teenager. And then we have a first in a trilogy, and then there's like two, two books after this trilogy, and then another book after both these series. This one is Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. It just follows Aline. Um, who, um, is in, um, in a country where, um, there's two types of armies and this beautiful map, um, where there's the first army and the second army and then the... Grisha army and she ends up when going into the rift um, where mainly bad things happen she ends up um, finding out that she is has these magical powers and ends up going to the um, Grisha school to become a Grisha um, that's all I want to say without 
not spoiling you guys anymore. Um, next is another first in the series, um, City of Bones, the first book in the Mortal Instruments by Cassandra Clare. Um, and I gave, oh wait, um, yeah, I forgot to give you the ISDs. I gave this a 5 out of 5 stars because it was really good. Um, Shadow on Bones, I gave a 5 out of 5 stars because obviously it was just that good. And then we, in this book we follow Clarissa Frey, who when she turns 16 realizes she can see um, everything that goes bump in the night and realizes that she's a shadow hunter. Um, that's all I can say without spoiling the book and the series if most people have not read it yet. And I gave this a 4 out of 5 stars. Next is My Plain Jane by Cynthia Hand, Ashley Brody, and Jody Meadows. Um, this is a Jane Eyre retelling um, about obviously Jane Eyre. And, um, there's just a giant plot twist with this. Um, yeah, it's just like a, like a paranormal type, um, retelling of this book. And then the last physical book, and most people are not surprised, A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. And obviously I give this one a 5 out of 5 stars. Um, this just follows a girl, um, Farah, who ends up killing a um, wolf in the woods and realized that it was a fairy, and she is taken away to the person who sent, or I should say the fairy who sent the, um, the fairy who shapeshifts into the woods and everything, and all right, now uh, we move on to the 10 audiobooks I read in March. Um, all right, why don't we start with The 100 by Cass Morgan. I gave that one a 4 out of 5 stars. Um, it's just a dystopian that follows 100 juveniles. Who have been sent to Earth to see if the Earth is inhabitable um, after a nuclear explosion happens. And then there's Ignite and Endure by Sarah Ruth Larson, and I gave these 5 out of 5 stars for both of them. These are the second and third book in the Defy trilogy, which obviously I gave them all put together 10 million out of five um and it's just following let me get the book it just follows this book and it follows um alexa holland um and this time um where she is disguised this is the first book um as a boy to fight an army instead of being used for basically a breeding tool. Um, so the Ignite and Endure are just the continuations um, and they leave off um, I have a paper so I can read most of these um, where everyone finds out that in Ignite um, where they find out that Alex is really Alexa. And Endure is the final book in the trilogy. Um, and it just follows them um, where there's still threats in Damien's kingdom. And she tries to figure out how to um, save Damien and everybody, 
on. And then we have the Dark Unwinding. This is the first in the duology um, by Shannon Cameron. I gave that one four out of five stars. Um, and it just follows a girl named Kat Caitlin or Katarina um, as she goes to her uncle's estate um, to have him basically committed to asylum and realize her uncle is not as crazy as everybody thinks. The next one is Real Monsters by um, Cara Thompson. I gave this one four out of five stars. And it just follows um, Casey. Uh, she's a new girl in Broken Falls. Uh, she starts a new life with a new stepmom, a step siblings, and a half sister. But when a friend ends up dead, uh, she tries to basically essentially find the killer. And I basically was on the edge of my seat when. Um, listening to this book then the next one is the last academy by i'm also reading off my wrap up um, and applegate and i gave this five out of five stars i also was sitting on the edge of my bed or i should say chair whatever i was sitting on when i read this or listened to it um I give it 5 out of 5 stars because I was just sitting on the edge of my seat while listening to the audiobook. Um, and it just follows Camden as she ends up in a boarding school. Um, and her best friend's best friend ends up disappearing and the teachers really don't give two rats asses. Um, and yeah, some stuff happens and everything. Um, then we have uh, City of Ember by Joanna de Pro Pure or um, Peru. However, you want to pronounce that last name, I just butchered it. Um, I gave that four out of five stars and. Um, and it just follows, um, of course, like the city of Ember, which is buried deep underground, and, um, when, like, the founders of Ember put something in a box, every mayor has to protect it, but it just disappeared, and we follow... Lina and Dune as they, you know, try to discover what this map is all about and how to, um, how to save their beloved city. And then we have Sagi by Courtney Summers. Um, I think this was her debut novel, novel maybe. Um, like I said, it's been a while since I did a well I did my June wrap up because I had to bring two books back to the library but it's been a while since I read these this is a standalone which is obviously pretty mean because it's just such a cliffhanger um, and of course like, I give this 5 out of 5 stars I actually like again I listened to this on audio um, and it just follows um like it's told in a podcast form and I listened to the audiobook and found it much better than the book. I did skim through the book um at my local library and I preferred the um audiobook to the book and it just follows um Sadie um and she ends up taking care of herself, herself and her little sister, Maddie. But when her sister ends up dead, she tries to figure out who ended up killing her. Um, and then you have um, Wes McCray. Um, 
who does podcasts and everything to figure out what happens. And then, oh, I realized one more book actually is on my TBR. I have to go get it when I get done talking about this this book. Um, the last book I listened to on audio was Pollyanna, and I gave that a 3.5 stars. I've seen the movie a million times, and this book, like, clicked with me. Like, I can understand where this book point of view is coming from. Um, and it just follows Pollyanna going to live with her aunt. And why you guys just sit right there, and I will go get the other book. I forgot to say that this this last book is actually I do want the physical copy. I want to, um, but I just end up picking the stunning um, penguin chalk edition. This is Peter Pan by L. M. Barry, um, and I gave this a four point five stars. Um, now this is another beloved. Um, childhood classic of mine. I ended up finding this stunning, run this stunning rendicious copy, um, on Book Outlet, and I think it was like ten dollars. Um, not on Book Outlet. Um, Book Depository. So I grabbed it, and um, I love the movies. I love any plays. Um, so I just had to know what the book is about, and, um, and on the back, it just says, all children except one grow up. Do you believe? Yes, I do. And that, this book concludes, um, my wrap up. Oh, yeah, this book just follows, um. Peter Pan and his friend Tinkerbell as they meet the darling children and take them to Never uh, Neverland, um, where there's mermaids, mischief, and Captain Hook. All right, so um, I will be posting this up sometime tomorrow, if not the next day, because I just uploaded a. Uh, video, so I'll probably save this until tomorrow. Bye guys.